Yeah, my name is Francis and this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube. So today I will be making uh, mushroom soup. So I will be making the cream of mushroom soup. And of course in French, it's called creme de champignon. You know, creme de champignon. So this is gonna be a lovely cream of mushroom soup. So I'll be using, you know, mushroom to make it. And of course, celery, leek, onion, you know, my onion, and of course, I'm gonna season my lovely soup and I'm gonna pass it. You know, I'm gonna liquidize it. And of course, I'm gonna pass it through a chinois. And of course, I'm gonna reboil, I'm gonna really reheat it. And of course, check for seasoning. And of course, I'm gonna serve it. I'm gonna plate it. And of course, enjoy it with my lovely, you know, bread of croutons. You can use bread, or you could use croutons if you want to. Of course, I'll be using, you know, bread to enjoy our lovely soup. So welcome, you know, to this lovely channel. And of course, if it's your first time, you know, watching this lovely channel, and if not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button and of course turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I go live or upload a new video right here on YouTube. I remain Francis by name and of course this is Google Share Francis live on YouTube. So sit back, relax and enjoy while I get started. And of course I'm gonna pop my ingredient right here on the table. So I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you very much. So my friends, I'm back now, so I'm going to grab my ingredient. So my friends, I'll be using 250 grams of mushroom. I'm using the white mushroom, so I'll set that aside. 250 grams. And of course, I will need my olive oil to sweat my onion. So that's my olive oil. I'm gonna sweat that, um, heat that up, and of course, sweat my onion, my onion and garlic. Of course, I need a little bit of sea salt. You know, I'm gonna sprinkle sea salt. I'm, I'm gonna season my lovely soup with sea salt. And of course, I'm gonna season with sea salt and you know black pepper. So that's my seasoning. Of course, we need a bouquet garni. You can make your bouquet garni if you want to, but of course, I'll just be using um, my bay leaf. Instead of making a bouquet garni, I'll use a bay leaf. So when I use the bay leaf, I'm gonna you know, remove it from the, uh, you know, from the soup when it's boiling away, I'll remove it 
bay leaf. I just need my bay leaf to add, you know, you know, to make it taste great and of course add nutrient and flavor to it. So my friends, I just need a medium-sized onion, so that should be enough. Of course, when you're making soup, we need onion when we're making soup. We don't want to, you know, make our soup without onion. Of course, garlic is optional. You can add garlic, but we're adding, you know, about two garlic cloves. Two garlic cloves, so just add two of those. So that's my clove of garlic. Just swap those, that's alright. So I have uh, my garlic, uh, onion, my seasoning, sea salt and black pepper, extra virgin olive oil and of course uh, mushroom. You know it's mushroom soup so I'll be using that. And of course I'm going to be adding milk at the end. Because it's called cream of mushroom soup, so I'm gonna be adding milk at the end. And now I also need um yeah, that's the uh, mushroom, olive oil, seasoning, and of course onion. I need leek and of course celery sticks. I need celery so I'll be using one celery stick that should be enough and of course um, I'll be using one leaf that's enough my friends leaf and celery leaf celery onion Also, my friends, I need a vegetable stock. So we can we can make our own vegetable stock, but of course uh, we can use the cube one to make our lovely soup. So I'm just trying to uh, figure out where I get my vegetable stock. Yeah, I found my vegetable stock. Yeah, that one. Of course, we could just use um, a little bit. We need about 500, um, about one liter. Or you could use about 800 milliliters, that's alright. So now I'm gonna get started now. So of course I'm gonna sharpen my knife before I get started. I'm gonna wash that now. Now I'm gonna set my board on the work surface.
and uh, I like to boil some water now because uh, I'll need boiling water for my vegetable stock. You could use um, white stock, that's alright. So my friends, we could use the white vegetable stock. You can use chicken stock, of course. You can check out my um, playlist on the uh, stock, my stock playlist, and you find out how I made my lovely stock, vegetable stock. So we can use that one as well. But we can buy vegetable stock, and of course, mix with hot water and you know pass it through the chinois or a strainer. So now I'm gonna wash my. Um, Quickly wash that in the sink, and of course, I'm gonna dice it quickly. So uh, that's my celery and leek. So I need a bowl. So I could just use a plate. I'll pop that plate there. And of course, I'm gonna quickly, you know, top my celery. So that's the celery. I'm gonna pop that on the plate quickly. I'm gonna trim that. So that's my my leek. That's the leak. Yeah. One leak is all right. One leak. One celery. So that's the celery, I'll pop that aside. That's my bay leaf. And of course, I'm gonna sweat my onion in, a, in my lovely olive oil. So that's the garlic. I'm gonna gonna you know roughly chop the garlic. Onion. I'm gonna peel that with my hand. So I'm gonna wash that now. So 
So I'll quickly, you know, chop that roughly. I'll slice that. Of course, when we're making our soup, we're gonna liquidize it, so we don't need to finely chop it. We just roughly chop it. So I need another plate. I'm gonna pop my onion on that one. Yeah, my garlic, I'm gonna pop it by the side of the onion. And of course my bay leaf right there. So now I'm gonna pull that away. I don't need the board anymore. So now my friends, I'm gonna get started now quickly. So now my friends, uh, I have the water, boiling water, so I'm going to make about one liter of uh, vegetable stock. So that's the, that's the job. Yeah. So I'm going to add some, uh, just a cube of vegetable stock, or you can make your own vegetable stock. You can check that on my uh, stock playlist. You're going to find how I made my vegetable stock. Nice and easy, my friend. So now I'm going to add boiling water into my lovely stock. I just need about one liter. so. That one. So, yeah, I'm gonna dissolve that now. So my friends, I'm gonna get started straight away. I'm not gonna waste any time today. I'm gonna quickly do it. Nice and quick. Um, that's the mushroom. Of course, I'm gonna set that aside for now. And uh, quickly, I'm gonna move my camera now. So now my friends, I'm gonna move my camera now. Yeah, gently. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pop my, um, you know, oil. About, you can use butter if you want to, but we're using about, uh, you know, two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm gonna be sweating my, uh, you know, my uh, onion in olive oil. So uh, we we'll just, you know, take it around. So I'm gonna adjust my camera now, so you can see clearly. So that's my uh, lovely pan, and of course, now I'm gonna quickly sweat my onion, onion, 
garlic, and bay leaf. So I have the onion, garlic, and, get, and bay leaf. You know, I'm sweating that now. So you can see my friends. Now I'm gonna add my leek and of course celery. So right in this lovely, I can perceive the aroma. You know when you're sweating your onion, you sweat with that color. You don't want to add color. And of course the bay leaf is there. I'm gonna remove the bay leaf. You know, you can see that my friends, nice. Now my friends, I'm going to strain my stock, that's the vegetable stock, you can use chicken stock, that's alright, so I'm going to strain it, that's a cube of vegetable stock with water, so now I'm going to strain it and pop it right in there. I'm going to strain it. So now my friends, the stock is right in there. So you can see that's the stock together with the uh, celery and leaf. So I'll leave that to boil away. Then uh, now, I'm going to quickly, you know, peel my mushroom. I'm going to wash my mushroom. I'm going to peel it. And of course, why that is boiling away, I'm going to quickly, you know, peel my mushroom. And of course, that's the mushroom, 250 grams of mushroom. I'm using white mushroom, my friends, white mushroom. I'm using a white mushroom, so I'm going to peel it and of course wash it and after washing, I'm going to quickly chop it. So I'm going to peel it. I love to peel my, mush my mushroom. I peel the skin of the mushroom with my hands. So I finished I finish peeling that, that's the white mushroom, so I'm going to bean that later. That's how I peel my mushroom, I just use my hand to pick it, you know, to peel it off. Nice and easy, my friend. So I'll keep peeling that. Bigger mushrooms are easier to peel, but the baby ones are, are quite difficult. So if you have a big mushroom like this, it's easier to peel with your hands. And of course you need to wash your mushroom because they could come with soil and dirt. So you need to quickly wash them very well and of course you know you don't want any soil in there or any dirt so you need to wash nice and clean so i'm quickly do that use my hand to peel my mushroom So my friends, I said I'm using the white mushroom. That's what I'm using, my friends. You know, the edible white mushroom.
So I'm almost done. I have two left. So now my friends, I finished peeling my mushroom. I'm gonna I'm gonna wash it now. Yeah. I'm gonna wash that now quickly. So that's nice and clean, nice and clean. I've washed that now. So uh, we're gonna pop that straight into our lovely soup. So now my friends, we have our mushroom washed and our mushroom is nice and clean. Now, I'm going to pop my mushroom straight into our lovely, uh, you know, pot, our lovely saucepan. So right here we have our leek, celery, sweated onion and of course garlic. So I'm going to pop my mushroom. I can just break it with my hands. And pop it in there. I don't need to use a cook's knife because we all we still gonna blaze it. We're gonna we're gonna liquidize it, and of course, you know, after liquidizing or blending or whatever, of course, we're gonna you know strain it with a chinois, or we could use our strainer, of course. Don't use my hands, nice and easy. I just break the mushroom and pop it right into our lovely soup. So we're making a lovely mushroom soup, my friend. It's going to be nice. So that's the mushroom now, right in there. Now, I'm gonna pop them straight into the boiling water. So I'm gonna season that with salt and pepper and leave it to boil away. I'll add black pepper, a little bit of black pepper.
a little bit of sea salt. Of course, you don't want to add too much of salt. I love using sea salt. Of course, I'm going to add one tablespoon of flour for to thicken the soup. So I always add flour when I'm making my cream, you know, cream of any type of soup. I always add like a tablespoon of flour to thicken the soup. But you can make a blonde roux if you want to. Or you just put it straight in there. So now my friends, I'm gonna, you know, quickly stir everything that's the uh, the mushroom is right in there and of course we have uh we, we have the mushroom we have the celery and of course everything is right in there so now you can see that that's really nice and of course uh perfect amount of you know one liter of our, our lovely vegetable stock right in there so we leave that to boil away to simmer you know for about 30 minutes i'll allow that to simmer for 30 minutes so i'm going to set my uh i'm, I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes so my friends in 30 minutes i'm gonna blaze my soup but of course it's been there for about you know five minutes so i'm gonna give it 25 minutes so in 25 minutes i'm gonna blaze my soup i'm gonna liquidize it and of course i'm gonna pass it to a strainer and of course i'm gonna add my lovely cream you know i'm gonna add my milk and of course we're gonna be having a lovely mushroom soup so we have 24 minutes more so that's a lovely soup, nice aroma from the soup. You know, it's absolutely gorgeous, my friends. So now, my friends, I'm gonna check for seasoning. It tastes really nice, my friends. This is absolutely lovely. I love, I love mushroom soup. It's, it tastes absolutely amazing. So I'll just put my lid on it to boil away quickly, but you can leave yours open. You don't need to put a lid on it. But I'll just put the lid for some time and I'm gonna, you know, remove the lid. I want it to cook quickly. Then later I'm gonna take the lid off. So I'm gonna put that, you know, my camera back. And later, I'll move it again. Of course, I need the ladle when I'm making soup. I'm gonna pop my ladle there, and of course, I'll put that away. So I'm gonna clean my work surface now, quickly. I want it nice and clean, my friend. So my friends will have just 22 minutes. So my friends, I said, you know, today I'm making a lovely mushroom soup, and of course I said, you know, I will make it 
the cream of the mushroom soup, cream of mushroom soup. So that is boiling away, you know. So my friends, I'm going to be telling you what I did. I'm going to adjust my camera again. Yeah. So my friends, I said, I'm going to tell you the recipes and of course, how I did, you know, how I cook the soup. It's nice and easy to make a mushroom soup. And of course, I said it's cream of mushroom soup. And in, in France, it's called creme de champignons. So of course, this is a lovely soup. And of course, you know, it's nice and easy to make, but we need the basic recipe to make our lovely soup. So my friends, what did I use to make this lovely soup? It's on the way. We're almost ready to have our soup. Yeah. So um, my recipe is for this mushroom soup is um, 250 grams of, you know, mushroom. And of course, I'm using a white mushroom. So just 250 grams and um, a little bit of salt, sea salt, about in a pinch of sea salt. And of course, a pinch of black pepper for seasoning. And of course, olive oil, I use two tablespoons of olive oil and a medium size of onion, one leek, one celery sticks, and of course, two garlic, you know, cloves. And of course, uh, a little bit of flour to thicken the soup. And the last thing I'm gonna be doing is to add my cream. So it depends on you, it depends on, it's up to you, whatever quantity you want to add. You could add 50 milliliters, doesn't really matter, from 50 to 200, that's all right. But you don't want to add too much so that your soup don't get watery. So that's it for the, uh, you know, recipes. Now I'm going to explain what I did from start to finish. Of course, we're not yet finished, but of course, from start to where I am now. So we see on it, but we will be done very soon. So my friends, what I did, you know, I, uh, you know, roughly chopped my vegetables, my leek, celery, and of course the garlic and onion. I sliced them and added, you know, I boiled water because I'm using vegetable stock cubes. Of course, you can make your own vegetable stock. You, know, make, you, you need to make it nice and hot before you pop it into the soup. So, but if you don't have it, you cannot make a vegetable store, you can watch my, of course, my, I made, you know, vegetable stock. You can check out the playlist or you can buy a vegetable stock cube. That's all right. Just make you hot water and of course, you know, sieve it after mixing hot water and of course, uh, pop it straight into the lobby soup. Just one liter of vegetable stock. That's all right. A liter or about 750 milliliters from 750 to 1000 milliliters or one liter it's up to you how you want a soup to be if you want it a little bit watery or thicker depends on the stock you put or water you add to it so my friends what i did you know i heated the two tablespoons of olive oil in a saucepan that's my saucepan and uh, and of course after heating that i sweated my onion and garlic and what next did I do after I sweat my onion and garlic? You know, I pop my celery and my leek right in there and I kept stirring everything. Of course, I added one bay leaf. I'm going to remove the bay leaf in the next. You don't want to um, uh, liquidize your bay leaf together with your soup. I'm going to remove that in the next two minutes. Or in the next five minutes, I'm going to remove my bay leaf. I want my bay leaf to add flavoring, you know, to add nutrient to my soup. So it, let me let me remove that in the next 10 minutes. When the soup is almost ready, I'm gonna remove the bay leaf. I'm gonna look for it and take it out from the you know boiling liquid. Now my friends, I sweated everything together with the celery leek, and of course, what next did I do? I added 
you know, one liter of vegetable stock and I stir it together. And what next did I do? I peeled my mushroom with my hands. You know, after peeling my mushroom, then I washed the mushroom, you know, under the running water, cold water. Of course, after washing the mushroom, I use my hand to chop it, but you can use your knife, but of course, we're still gonna blend our soup. So I wasn't bothered to, you know, use my cook's knife to chop it. I just use my hand to chop it and I pop it straight in there. And of course it's cooking now and I added a little bit of sea salt and black pepper. It's nice and easy to make soup, very nice and easy. And what next I do, I mix everything up and I added one tablespoon of flour because I want the flour to thicken the soup. That's what I did. And of course, you know, I like that to simmer, gentle simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. But of course, 30 minutes is going to be all right you know, to simmer the soup. So, yeah, I can see the mushroom cooking. Yeah. So now, my friends, because uh, when you're making mushroom soup, you're going to have some scum. So you need to skim off the scum. So now I'm going to move the camera because I can see some scum. So my lid, I'm not going to put my lid anymore. So I'll take that off because I brought that to the boil. Uh, when you're making your mushroom soup, what you need to do, you need to bring it to the boil. So when you bring it to the boil, then you, you, you continue with gentle simmer. So when you bring it to the boil, you can use high heat initially. Then after you go with gentle simmer. So right now it's on high heat. Uh, it's on gentle simmer now. So, so now my friends, I'm gonna quickly, you know, uh, finish up what I'm doing. I'm gonna remove the scum from my lovely soup. Yeah, I need to remove the scum now, my friends. So I'm gonna remove this comb. I'm gonna skim off. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. You know, my friends, when you're making soup or you're making a sauce, you can see some scum. You can see that. So I'll remove that. That's the scum I'm talking about. I always use a ladle to remove the scum. Yeah. So I'll remove that now, my friends. You can see that the scum, I'm taking the scum out. I'm skimming off the scum because I want our soup to be very nice and clear. So I'm gonna skim off. I want my soup clear, so I need to remove this, you know, I need to skim off this corn. So you can see, look at that. It's not really good. So it looks dirty, so I need to take that off. Because I want this soup to be clear, so I need to skim it off. I need to skim this corn off. So remove that. It smells absolutely nice, my friends. Love this soup. I love it. So I can see the soup is nice and clear. It's becoming clear now. Look at that. Not really good, isn't it? Of course, you want to use the gentle simmer 
so that you can you know remove the scum you don't want to cook it too much on high heat the soup looks absolutely nice my friends I love it lovely soup So while I do this, I can see the soup becoming very clear. So it's clear. You know, you can see excess fat is being removed. It's nice and clear now, my friends. It looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely sensational, my friends. So you can see, my friends, I've removed this comb. So I'm gonna try my shoe, you know. Tastes absolutely nice, my friend. And of course, I'm gonna check if the mushroom is cooked. I'm gonna try, you know, this baby mushroom and see if it's cooked. No, yet cook, my friends. No, yet time. So allow this to cook, to boil away, and I'm gonna skim off again before liquidizing our soup. So now my friends, I'm going to push, that, push back the camera again. I'm going to adjust that again. So now my friends, uh, you know, I said I removed the scum from the shoe. And of course, you know, look at that. You know, it's really full of fat. It's not really nice. So we need to take that off. I remove that. And of course, after removing the scum, I have to allow that to cook away for some time again. And of course, in the next, we have eight minutes more. So in eight minutes, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to put the lid on for it to cook quickly. I want it to cook quickly, so I have to put the lid on. So uh, when it's ready, I'll use my blender to blend my soup. And after that, you know, I'll pass it through a strainer. And of course, I'm gonna add my lovely cream. And of course, I'm gonna serve, you know, plates my lovely soup with my lovely bread so when you eat in soup you could use your bread or your croutons to eat your lovely soup so my friends thank you for your patience thank you for joining this live stream and of course if if this is your first time watching my channel and of course you may have subscribed to this channel please click the subscribe button Turn on the bell and of course, you're not going to miss the latest 
you know, when I go live or when I put a new video right on YouTube. So I remember Francis by name and this is Google Share Francis live on YouTube. And of course, I said I'm making cream of, uh, of uh, mushroom soup. And yesterday, I made cream of asparagus soup. So of course, you can check that out on my upload and of course, you can check that out on my playlist. For the Soup of the Day playlist, you can find out, you know, how I made a lovely, you know, uh, mushroom soup, um, asparagus soup. Of course, I also made carrot and butter bean soup. That was three days ago. I made that. And of course, I also made vegetable stock. So you can also check out, you know, my all my videos and all my live stream. You find out that I made so many live streams. I made live stream on, you know, cookies, shortbread, you know, wheat bread, homemade bread, you know, uh, baguette, shabata, uh, a lot of videos. So many of those, uh, of course, um, blueberry muffins, scones, you know, lovely videos. But of course, I said this January, I'll be making more soups and of course, you know, I'll be making stocks. You know, I already made the vegetable stock while well, I'll be making other stocks. I'll make, you know, gravy and the rest, you know. So you can check out most of my videos. I, I already made, you know, you can check out my video where I made the mayonnaise, of course. I made mayonnaise video. And of course, I made videos of many types of bread. So many types of bread, cakes, sweets, desserts, you know, puddings. I made STP, the secret toffee puddings. You can check that out. So go through my videos and my uh, playlist. You're gonna find lots of videos I made. They're really, you know, inspirational, of course. You know, they are entertaining and of course, straight to the point from start to finish. Real recipes. No, uh, you know, no lie, no fake. But real recipes from start to finish. If you, if you, when I upload, when I upload a video, not the live stream, but the video, when I upload it, the edited ones, when you, when I upload them, you find that, you know, from the beginning, you see the recipes. You know, I write down the recipes, and of course, I show it to my viewers before I get started to make the real, you know. I'm gonna check that now and see what's going on. Yeah. With the lid on, it's boiling quickly. So I want it very cooked. I don't want to eat mushroom that is not cooked. You know. So, uh, that's it for, for my videos. Lots of videos. Check them out, my friends. Share my videos. Like them. And of course, you know, you can leave a positive comment if you want to comment. But of course, give it a like, share them. And of course, you know, let people know that we, of course there's a great channel like this running on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. I make lots of videos, good ones, good recipes, and real method. So even right here on my live stream, of course, I explain from start to finish how I make my lovely soup and of course how I make my lovely dishes. So my friends, we're almost done. We have just three minutes more. So in three minutes, my friends, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know blend my soup and of course I'm gonna be ending this live stream in the next 15 minutes so thank you my friends for joining this live stream I remain Francis by name and of course this is Coco Chef Francis live on YouTube so sit back relax and enjoy but of course now I'm gonna check what's going on and see if we need to blend our soup now or we just need to hold on in the next five minutes to do that so let me see what's going on. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna try the mushroom and see if it's cooked. So our mushroom is, you know, almost cooked. So in the next two minutes, I'm going to remove the mushroom, you know. So I'm going to 
Yeah. What I'm gonna do, let me give it uh, five minutes. Let's give it five minutes to cook. The soup is ready, but I'll just give it five minutes. And of course, I'm gonna remove our scum again. I'll skim off the scum. And of course, it's gonna be clear. So I'll quickly, you know, blend this lovely soup. And after blending, then I'm gonna add my cream. So now, I'll go to the fridge now and remove, you know, I need, I'm gonna grab uh, skin milk. I'm gonna use the semi skin milk. So I need just, uh, you know, just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, that should be enough, just about 50 milliliters of, you know, 50 to 100 milliliters. Just, you know, a little bit of milk, not too much. I don't think we need to skim off any scum. We, the one I did is all right. The soup is really clear now, so there's no scum anymore. So I need that one. So I need my blender as well. So I'm gonna grab my blender now. So I need the blender. Blender. So we're about to blend our soup. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set that aside. I don't need the oil, so I'll put that away. I don't need that anymore. I'll put that away. And of course, I don't need my salt, so I'll put that away. Because I check for seasoning and the, salt, the, the, the soup is really tasty. It's not really salty. Just perfect, you know, this. So I just need my milk and of course I need my blender, you know, and of course I need my lovely, you know, uh, strainer to strain my soup. And of course I'll be straining my soup right into this lovely, you know, bowl. And uh, you can see, I just have one minute more. So I'm um, gonna get started very soon. Yeah. I got a little bit of meat right in here. And, um, I'm gonna show you now, the soup is almost ready. You can see that's the mushroom soup. It's, you know the water is almost dry now, which is good because you don't want it very thick. Of course, when you're making soup, you don't want the water to be too much. The water that you need is just to help the uh, the this is soup to, to to get blended easily. You know that's why I have a little bit of water right in there. So you don't want to add too much water, and of course you want to use the right you know quantity to make a lovely soup. So we have just 46 seconds more, my friends. So in 46 seconds, I'm gonna get started. Of course, I'm gonna allow my soup to cool a little for about two, two minutes. Of course, if you're using a very strong blender, you can, you know, a food processor or whatever, you can, you know, liquidize your soup as quick as possible. You know. So we have just 20 seconds more, my friends.
So it's almost ready now. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, zero. So now it's beeping. I'm gonna turn that off and uh, I'll pop back, I'll pop that at its usual place. So now my friends, I'm ready to blend my lovely soup. So now, what I'm gonna do now is, um, yeah, I'm gonna remove that from the heat. Soup is ready. So I'm gonna show you how it is. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna push, you know, back the camera to usual position. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna blend the soup now. So my friends, you can see. Uh, look at that, my friends. I'm gonna show you also how it is. You can see. It's really nice. Look at the steam from the soup. So it's absolutely nice. You can see that, my friend. So now I'm gonna pop, you know, that straight into the blender. Yeah. I'm gonna blend um, three times. I like that to cool down a little before blending. You know. And of course, yeah. It's really nice, my friends. Love this soup. I love it. So my friends, I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you very much.
to my friends, um, I'm going to start now to blend my soup. That's all right now. So after blending, I'm gonna, you know, strain the soup right in there. <laughs> It's gonna be a nice, you know, mushroom soup. It looks absolutely amazing, my friends. So, uh, I'm going to bean that now. So, I'm going to blend that again, another one. So, uh, My friends, I'm going to pass that again. You can pass that in a separate bowl.
you know, sometimes it takes time to pass through. So it just needs to take your time. But if you don't want to pass your own, you can eat it like that. That's all right. Because there's no really particles right in there. It just, you know. So I can just, that's enough, so I'll bin that. But of course it's not necessary to um, you know sieve your mushroom soup you can just like you know put it that way and eat it that's all right if you want your mushroom to be to be a little bit you know brownish in color then you reduce the amount of, uh, you know, celery and leek. Just put a little bit of leek, maybe like half celery stick and half leek. And of course, you're gonna have that brown color. You want to have that mushroom color, then you can do that. When we add more leek and more celery, it's gonna give you a little bit, you know, greenish brown color. So now my friends, I'm gonna blend that later. So now I'm gonna reheat my, my lovely soup. I'm gonna pop a little bit of uh, It tastes really nice, my friends. You can see that nice and you know, nice color. So my friends, I'm gonna reheat my lovely mushroom soup. You know, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of, you know, milk. Just a little bit of milk. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, I have about 50 milliliters. And I'm gonna heat that up. So that's gonna be a lovely cream of celery soup, or cream of mushroom soup, I beg your pardon. So now my friends, I'm gonna slice my bread. Uh, I'm gonna be enjoying it with the bread. So what I'm just doing, I'm just going to reheat it. Look at that. I'm reheating it with just uh, a little bit of milk. So with the boil, 
with a little bit of milk, about three tablespoons or four. That's all right. Anyway, that's for one portion. But what we made today is for two portions. So I'm going to slice my bread now. So I'm going to use, uh, you know, I'm using brown bread. I'm just gonna put that one by the side, you know, while I'm plating it. So, my friends, I'm gonna plate my lovely soup. Let me get a tissue. So I'm going to plate that now. It's nice and hot. My friends, now I'm going to plate my soup. You can see it's really clear, no particles, because I strained it. It's really nice, my friends. Look at that. Lovely, nice color. You can see it's greenish brown because of the uh, leek, the leek added to it, and of course, if you want yours to be very brown, then you don't need to add leek and celery. If you want to add leek and, leek and celery, just add a little bit, a little bit of leek and celery, and it's gonna be nice, you know, very brown. So you can just pop your bread. You know, you can put your bread by the side, that's all right. Of course, we always enjoy our soup with bread. So my friends, that's the mushroom soup, you know. You can see, I'm gonna try it and see, you know. It's nice, my friend, look at that. You know, absolutely look at that, you know. Absolutely, uh, not watery, it's thick. 
tastes nice, nice and perfect. Of course, you can enjoy with some bread. Nice, my friend. Absolutely nice. Really tastes like mushroom. It's really nice, my friends. So I said before, if you check my thumbnail, you see that one is very brown. So if you want to make brown mushroom soup, of course, you add a little bit of celery and leaf. But if you want it greenish brown, then of course, you add more leaf and celery. But I love adding more celery and leaf in my soup. So it's really nice, my friends. So my friends, that's the soup we made. And of course, it's really nice, perfect, not very really tasty, not salty. I corrected the seasoning and of course, it came out perfectly nice. Taste was very great. So my friends, that's it for today. So uh, join me on um, Sunday for another lovely live stream. So I'll be right back on Sunday and of course, you know, tomorrow and Saturday, I will not be making the live stream. So I'll be back on Sunday and of course, I will be making another lovely live stream. So my name remains Francis and this is Kuku Chef Francis live on YouTube, live on YouTube. And of course, I'll be back to make something wonderful, something, you know, very nice. But I'm, I don't, I'm not going to say that now. But of course, if, if you have subscribed to this channel, you're going to get the notification. Of course, you're going to know what I'm going to be doing. So thank you very much, my friends, for watching this lovely live stream. I'll see you next time. And of course, if you miss some part of the video, you can watch the replay. And of course, so you know how I made it from start to finish. So thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.